Hi, my name is Joel DeJesus, and I was born and raised in South Africa. From the outside, it may have seemed as if I was living a textbook Christian life. I had everything and lacked nothing, but deep inside, I kept feeling as if I was not going to be good enough, especially for God. Two years ago, I made a difficult decision to move my family to the U.S. I truly felt that this was God's plan for my life and for our lives, but shortly afterwards, my life started to unravel. We struggled as a family to adapt to our new lives, and we missed our family back home tremendously. We spent most of our savings moving to the US and investing in a small restaurant, which we sadly had to close down to. Then our six-year-old daughter started suffering from a severe skin disorder. We tried several treatments, but nothing seemed to work. All the stress had driven our marriage and our family to, to a breaking point. Last December, I received notice that my US visa would not be extend, extended. And consequently, I lost my job. I felt that God had gone silent. And all hope in my heart had died. And I wished the same for me. During the Christmas service, God used Jeff's sermon called Silent Nights to let me know that even though he is silent, he is still present and wants to use me. Later that evening, I received a text from a friend in our small group saying that our trials and our continued faith through these trials had finally convinced him to give his heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. It is absolutely amazing how God could use our broken lives. Because of this truth, I trust Jesus fully and have accepted him as my savior. I would like to thank my wife, Brenda, who loves me when I can't love myself. My girls, Kiara and Gianna, who give me a reason to keep on believing. My small group and family who have carried me in their prayers and Gwinnett Church that has been a home away from home. I am excited to proclaim Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Man, I am blown away at your story and what God has done. From moving from South Africa and then all the stuff that happened, I can see why you would think God was silent, but you never forgot and you continued having faith in him and that his presence was always with you. And because of that, Someone has given their life to Christ because of you. How incredible is that? What an amazing story. Man. I, if you're here today, I don't know what you're going through, but maybe you just need to hear this. God is with you, and he has never left you, as we've seen in Joel's life. So because of your profession, because of your profession of your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father who loves you, the Son who died for you, and the Spirit that is living in you.